We're here in the engineering test lab at Quad Tech uh, looking at the inspection system with spectral cam demo system. Um, this system is looking at a continuous web. It consists of a single camera inspection system uh, with a single top light. Uh, it does not have a foil light or backlight in this configuration. On the back side of this system, we have a spectral cam sensor uh, measuring data on this form. The combination of the inspection system and spectral cam gives us the ability to pick out unique points of interest on the web and measure that spectral data. We're here at the inspection system UI and we have to go through some of the inspection system setup screens to grab the unique images and target points for the spectral cam sensor. This is the normal setup screen for the inspection system. Uh, the first uh, screen is the job details screen. This information is required to uh, be stored for Data Central. This is the sensitivity setting for the inspection system. For this application, we will just use the low setting. Uh, our typical light adjustment, as I mentioned, there is only uh, a top light on this application. We would set that up here. Our margin adjustments, uh, we would typically set up uh, our boundaries for our margins. At this point, as you can see, we have the image uh, from the web and we can now set up our color targets. Uh, I've preloaded some, some targets here. Uh, we can have up to 72 targets within uh, the spectral cam system. Uh, for this application, I will just look at uh, unit one. Uh, I've set up three targets in the orange as you can see, the smaller box is the area that measures the spectral uh, data. The larger box is the, air, the box that identifies the unique area of the web that we need to target. Within the system itself, we can then set up um, for our trending screens the delta E, delta density, and other settings for, for those color targets. Once we apply these targets, we begin inspection, we grab our golden template image for the inspection system, and the spectral cam sensor comes out of its area and it, it starts measuring color data. Uh, so at this point you can see the, the system is, is grabbing the golden template and we're actually getting color data shown on the screen uh, for unit one on top of the screen. The inspection system screen is separated into two, two areas one area for color information, the other area for the normal inspection information. Uh, because this, this is a continuous web on this application, we will see a lot of defects popping up on screen, so I will focus on the, the color information. So if we expand the color information, uh, we see information on our three color targets and our delta A and delta E differences that we're, we're noticing in the different images that we're grabbing, uh, delta L and delta D information uh, as well from the color targets that we're measuring. Uh, we also have trending information that comes up regarding our color measurements and you can see our, uh, our tolerances that we've applied to those targets uh, are, are shown in the red and yellow area and green is uh, it's, it's within tolerance. The benefits of our system is we can achieve fast, accurate color on a running press. The old method of doing this is measuring by hand. This is where we can save a lot of waste on your press.